everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Out There Oceans of Time with the Redshift update. So I played this game back when it first hit Early Access, and uh, I guess I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Uh, well, I guess I'm skipping the tutorial for this one because I already covered it, and ultimately, if you haven't seen this game before, effectively... Uh, hi, I didn't mean to zoom in that far. Effectively, it's a Star Trek kind of RPG. Uh, at least that's the closest analog I can think of. You're exploring star systems, finding cultures, exploring runes, so on and so forth, while trying to find your way back to civilization. Effectively, a, uh, you're transporting a demigod in your ship, got attacked, crashed, and somehow uh, more or less woke up 100 years in the future. So you're trying to get back and, and right the wrongs that were done. And you've got a really dinky kind of garbage ship. You can see it's very small, not a whole lot of space, Barely more than uh, shields, geo scanners, and enough to get us around, and barely enough room for any kind of ooh, resources. Though I notice I might actually be able to process some of this. I don't actually know if that's a good idea, though. In retrospect, we'll get to that in a bit. So uh, before we go too far, this was sponsored specifically by the developers of Out There Oceans of Time, who wanted me to showcase the Redshift update a little bit more. So why don't we why don't we pick a place? I guess we're heading for the location of the attack, so we might as well start making our way in that direction. Does it cost more the longer I travel? Yes. The one question is, is there a way that I can check what kind of planets we have? Oh, it's still tutorializing a little bit. Well, I guess I'm just going to go here. So, we've got a couple of quick talking points specifically for the Redshift update. First and foremost, that the game is on sale. Uh, very briefly. Uh, this video, I believe, is going out on the last day of the sale just because of timing. Uh, but it's 20% off if you do want to pick it up. Now, what does the Redshift update have? Ooh, we can land. But we can scan. Let's start with that. Uh, let's see. Oop. Anomaly detected. Scan complete. Okay, crew service. So we can land here. There's a village. That's interesting. So anyway, the Redshift update, before we get too distracted with what we're doing, uh, has... Rebalance the difficulty. I don't actually know if it makes it easier or harder. It just says it's rebalanced. Uh, there's a new oxygen system on rocky planets. New ways of exploring tunnels, ancient portals, and unstable structures. And uh, there's actually like a crew system here. It's not that we're just flying around in a ship. We actually do have characters. We've got... Uh, currently, we've got Nyx. Oh, it's still tutorializing a little bit. I just got out of the like main intro before starting this video. I more or less know how to play, so I don't think we need to go through this again. So I'll try and explain as we go. Okay, and then we also have Sergey. Oh, I should have used their AP before we took off the last time. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, use your team skills to, ex uh, to be able to take shortcuts and unveil new treasures. So each of these characters has different moves. So she's an explorer, and I think he's a... I forget the name of his class... Well, it doesn't matter that much. But each, each of these characters has different abilities. So he can uh, reveal nearby chests, or heal, or uh, tweezers. Every time a chest is open, four raw minerals is gained. And then also adds oxygen to the reserve. And can use that apparently four times per expedition, which is pretty rad. Oh, tweezers is a passive object. It's something that he starts with. Cool. There's also 48 new maps to uncover, 19 new skills for your team. And a new save system with multiple endings to uncover. Oh, to uncover. And you can save up to three times your game. Oh. And then obviously, the game is beautiful. I'm curious about saving. Previously, this was kind of roguelike-ish. But I wonder if they've backed off that just a little bit. I guess we won't know until we lose and find out. So we've got a village there. Now, the way planetary exploration works is you can explore as much as you want. But there are hazards and other things. So for example... This actually looks like a plant, not a hazard. Yeah, so we found some plant matter. So yeah, I can walk around as much as I want, but each character only has three AP to interact with certain events and use their abilities. So to some degree, I want to be as stingy as possible. So it's always best to just find all of these... all of these small things first. I guess we could go back to the village all the same, because I think that might be the only thing that I can even interact with here. It looks like it's mostly just plants and then the one village. Cool. Okay. How do we... Okay. There we go. Just wasn't letting me get closer. 
So this is the first time I've actually made contact with people. What? <laughs> Villages are places of exchange. Their inhabitants speak exclusively in the language of the gods. Sumnag Rizabel. Rizalbel? Your spokesperson's reply during this exchange may influence your reputation in the village. Over the course of the journey, you'll learn to speak the language of the gods. These and the oh, uh, Sumnog. Okay, they didn't like that. A response causes the alien to wilt in a weary kind of resignation. It signals the shopkeeper near us. Before our eyes, the stall's empty, though there's almost no one left to trade with. I have almost nothing, so I don't really care too much. Recruitment. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I have resources, and our ship isn't big enough to have more. Um, but I could recruit a crystal character if I wanted to. Now we've got plant matter, and they do have a bunch of resources. I don't know how much of any of these I actually care, just because I can't do anything with it. Uh, because yeah, what I want is the resource more than anything else. Well, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna leave the village. Unfortunately kind of a bust until we actually need stuff or have a better ship. But at least we got some plants. Oh, right. Our characters can only move a certain distance. Well, that's fine. So, honestly, not the best. But at least we got a little bit of EXP and some morale. Okay. So we have fatigue. They can only be deployed to the field again after several interstellar trips. Okay, so we also have crew. Crew's gathered here. They get fatigue. So we have to do two inter-system trips before I want to go. We can still use them on board the ship and assign to operate various things. Oh, I don't remember this. So currently on, geoscanner, drill, telescope, probe, refining range of the folder and reduces the amount of fuel consumed i think we want to do that now let's switch over to him i'm gonna have him be on dr drilling or eh, probably the hydrogen hydrogen probe though i think what i'm gonna do is just reassign oh never mind hold up how do we get back there we go crew i'm just gonna assign him to the drill i think i can just hot swap him whenever i want so yeah let's let's just drill Okay, so we do not have enough. Oh, and our oxygen is great. That's probably fine. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I can't do, mu do much about this. We have stuff like silicon. I could get rid of the fuel. And I don't want to get rid of all of the iron. We do have minerals that I could deal with. Oh, shoot. I have a lot of hydrogen and oxygen. Hey, good for me. Okay, let's take off. So where are we going? I mean, realistically, I think we just want to get as far as we kind of can towards our objective. We need to find technology as part of it and maybe a better ship. Or a ship upgrade? I'm not sure. Oh, that's pretty. And <laughs> that's over quick. My laptop loads fast. So we've got a gas giant, a gas giant, and a gas giant. Which is good, we need fuel. This is a really pretty game. The previous one was pretty too, but I like the more... I feel like I actually get to interact with the game systems a little bit better playing this game. So copper and silicon cannot be interacted with. I don't know what to do with plants. Because we have blueprints, but we already have all of these. There's a module. Yeah. What do I need for that? Five iron, five carbon. If I had a little bit more cargo space, I could potentially grab the sick bay. We could try and convert this into a storage slot. It's not that expensive, and currently storage is by and far my biggest issue. So I'm, I'm actually going to convert two of these into storage slots. Maybe against my better judgment, I'm not sure. But this way we can go into the refinery and... Let's see. One at a time. Oh, I see.
Cool. And if we transfer all. So we have this. I need a couple more carbon. Getting that sick bay actually would be pretty handy. Uh, let's see. Anyway, we want to go back to this. Let's see. Sign him from the drill to the hydrogen probe. And then we're going to probe this. Perfect. We actually have space. I could probe again. Uh, let's see. It would cost some fuel. You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. Bip, bip, bip. I'm trying to use hotkeys, but I'm not used to my, uh, my keyboard. Okay, hold up. We have fuel. We have a lot of fuel, but I should probably use as much as I can. I, okay, well, we had a lot of fuel. It's all gone now. Let's just snag the rest of the fuel we can from each of these gas giants. Grab what we can, stock up like crazy. I don't think we get EXP for just doing regular stuff. Okay. And yeah, hull integrity is being weakened a little bit. That's why we have this. What I want to do is make sure I have two iron at all times, because if my drill breaks, I need it to repair. Same thing with the hydrogen probe. Yeah, the greedier I am, the more likely it is to break. Okay. Do we go to the other one? I, I guess we must. Okay, back to this. And who knows, maybe one of these will have an anomaly to really sweeten the deal. Probably not, though. Yeah, it's just probing. So we'll just probe five, transfer all. Call it good enough. I've got enough fuel. We just got to find a rocky planet. Uh, let's see. Red dwarves or a neutron star? I think a red dwarf is more likely to have what I'm looking for. Oh, it's morale. That's what that resource is. I love that tunnel. Unfortunately, like I said, my laptop loads real fast. Uh, let's see. Hey, rocky planet. Uh, let's see. Before we land, do we want to manage some of these things? Toss a little bit of fuel over. Silicon can't do anything with any of these. Tungsten. Interesting. But yeah, grab as much as we can. Hopefully we find some tech at some point. Ex exploration? Well, we can land. Okay, but no, we can only drill. Hold up. Don't want to do that yet. Crew, you are a man of many tasks. And drill. Do we want to do six? I mean, I could go, I could go for broke and just actually try and break it. Not bad. Let's do one more. There are diminishing returns, so it's not quite as worth doing this. And it doesn't didn't look like we got any mineral crystals. That's fine. I'm still hoping we can get some carbon, though. Okay, back to galactic view. So we have neutron star, blue giant, red super giant. I don't know, do we want to do Red Supergiant and see what that gets me? Oh! We intercept a machine drifting through space. Its workings appear to be quite beyond anything we've seen before. It's emitting a peculiar message that advises caution, do not activate. If our instruments detect small amounts of Omega within its frame. A frame. Ah, within its frame. Do we activate it, or do we take it apart? I'm going to activate the machine. Oh. After much discussion, we decide to activate the machine. It buzzes, then fires a beam in the direction of the system's star. Several minutes later, time enough for the light to travel to our location, the star withers, first turning brown, then black. It's been transformed into a black hole. Oh. Okay. So now we can travel between black holes... Why did I do that? Well, that, oops. Okay, let's move this over and fix up. I didn't mean to click on that. I just wanted to get rid of the tutorial. What would we have? Luckily, we have a whole bunch of rocky planets. Well, 
we might as well <laughs> find out if we doomed anybody to death here. <laughs> That'd be unfortunate. Okay, uh, before we do anything, probably refuel. What's our oxygen doing? Not great. Okay. Go back. Do we drill again? I don't know how worth it that was. Let's see. System view. I'm just going to make my way slowly away from the black hole. Not that it really does damage unless I get close to it, which, oops. I'm hoping for an anomaly. As, as nice as these resources are, they don't really do much for us. Let's just drill seven and see what happens. That's probably enough. At some point, I'm going to break my drill. Yeah, I should have taken apart the machine, but, I mean, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> okay. So drill again. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going for broke slightly. Drill damaged, but we get plenty of resources. I don't know if it's too much of an issue. I have maybe too much iron. And yeah, I can fix or disassemble all of these, but the, none of none of that's gonna help me. Yeah. So we gotta go find some gas giants. Okay, take off. Because I do not have much for resources. It's so galactic view. Yellow dwarf. I was trying to click on the thing next to it, but hopefully this will have a gas giant in it. We have a garden planet. Ah, oh, it's... Yeah, so we don't want to do that. Honestly, well, our oxygen is a little low. I think we just need to continue on. Oh, wow. We're actually getting pretty close to the next plot point. So we have a garden planet, a rocky planet, and another rocky planet. Nope. It'd be nice to stop. But I need a gas giant. Rocky planet, rocky planet, rocky planet. This is looking kind of spicy. I don't know what happens when we run out of fuel. Oh, thank biscuits. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we can get some more efficient engines at some point. That's a pretty planet. Okay, so we want to go crew. Swap him to hydrogen probe. Activate helmet. Oh, sweet. Goodbye, weird human phases. Oh no, she already had hers on. Oh, I wonder if I can change their suits. Maybe. Okay, probe. I have two fuel. Transfer all. Slide fuel here. Probe again. Probe seven. Don't care about the damage. Do we, do we probe again? I don't, I don't know if it's going to help me. Luckily, we have another gas giant. And then I think I'm going to blow up my drone to get as much, much as I can out of this one. As efficiently as possible. Bam. It didn't break. Wild. Ooh, helium is worth. Okay, fuel is no longer a problem. And our hull got kind of dinged up here, but that's fine. Everything else good? I think so. Well, that could have gotten badly, but I guess we lucked out. So, and there's only two orbits here. So we've got location of the attack. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. So we're going to go to this. So once again, to recap, uh, our ship got blown up uh, by effectively sympathizers, sympathizers, the demigod's allies. So we're going to, I guess, hopefully figure out what happened. If you guys do want to see the uh, prologue intro, 
I more or less had it in the, uh, or I, I had the whole thing in my previous video. I just, I don't know, I don't like re retreading old ground. Off officer, look, I've got a visual on a ship in, adrift in the huh. system. Must belong to the Ar Archon. Let's get closer. Uh, do we? Oh, what? What? Well, that's a new one. Uh, can I, can I angle? Okay, there we go. So we have a garden planet, which will be nice. The abandoned ship and another garden garden planet. Well, I might as well actually bop by one of those, refill on oxygen. If I can figure out how to convert plants to oxygen. You're right, officer. That's one of the ships that attacked us. Strange that it was abandoned, even after they managed to free the Archon. It must have been damaged during the attack on the Vanguard. They probably prioritized getting away over salvaging it. Makes sense. Though maybe the Archon's forces use use it as a navigational beacon. What are your orders? Let's search the Archon ship. We could find some useful information there. View cargo. Looks like the ship's communication system kept functioning for a while after the battle. I can decode most of their transmissions. Seems the Archon is fixated upon the idea of building some kind of stellar republic. The stellar republic? Republic. A pompous name for a pompous monster. Most of the information here is outdated, but it seems like the Archon succeeded. According to the map, the Archon's Republic spans thousands of worlds. It has an Im immense fleet, with ships beyond counting. Can't believe all these civilizations have joined the Archon. Guessing they didn't have much of a choice. We need more recent information. These frequ frequencies were discontinued decades ago. Check the ship's navigation system. Where it came from, where it was going, anything you can find. Let's see. Seems the ship's last log destination was a planet called Atlas. That's the best lead. Agreed. I just hope it's not too late. Oh. Your ship abandoned ship. So we can embark, disassemble everything, unload all cargo. So which of these ships is bigger is the question. So performance is the same. Ecosystem is worse. Resistance is better. Comfort is slightly worse. Slots are 22. Crew capacity. Okay, so the answer is, apart from resistance, the new ship is not great. So let's load all cargo. Ooh. They have a sick bay. Ah, but we can't get everything. Well... We can snag it all. And I could embark, but that would be real stupid. What is HF? I have no idea. So I'll just throw a little bit of oxygen there. And yeah, we still can't quite get the sick bay. Okay. So if I go back to... Oop, I guess it's telling me where Atlas is. Okay, going to Atlas, but we've still got some things to do in this system. Specifically, Garden Planet... Garden planet, garden planet. Might as well try and restock on oxygen. Still not sure how I'm supposed to be able to convert plants over. I think before landing, let's figure that out. Because my inventory... Hey, we've got not an anomaly. This is like equal parts the worst part of... Uh, let's see. There we go. So we have a temple. Ooh. Possible rewards, Omega, alien words, objects, uh, but it has unstable structure and tunnels, and possible bleeding. Well, I'm gonna land. This is how we get EXP, this is how my guys get better, and this is how we get new tech and other things. I never liked this part of Mass Effect 2 because it felt so meaningless and grindy, but in this game it feels better, feels like I'm actually exploring, and I really need those resources. So, before I go anywhere, I need to figure out refinery. No, that's not how I do it. Expeditions to garden or rocky planets. Maybe we don't have a way to convert plants into resources, so we might actually just have to sell things. Okay. Well, we could also drill. Here's the thing. Drill baby drill. Let's switch back to him. I'm just going to drill all. Oh, we have plenty of oxygen. I wonder if landing on a garden planet actually... Okay, uh, let's see. Expedition, there we go. I wonder if landing on a garden planet gets us more more oxygen. That 
might actually be like we just refill here. Okay. That's actually really cool. Okay, do we have anything down here? We do. Maybe. Now, unless I'm mistaken, this, yeah, that has potential bleeding. I might not have a choice, but no, I can go around. Haste makes waste, and since there's no cost... Unstable structure. I don't think there's much of a reason to do that. Let's just wander around a little bit to figure out everything. Because we've got some plant matter. And then we've got this. Well, this is our primary objective, so let's figure it out first and foremost. Okay. Our expedition arrives at an immense temple with a fine curvi with fine curving architecture. The relic of a once illustrious civilization. The structure is almost completely submerged in a lagoon filled with water that is as translucent as air. The ripples of long slender fish spool across the liquid like clouds across the sky. What mysteries does this temple contain? If only we could find a door, perhaps we could find out. Send our survivalist. Our survivalist has spent many hours training in underwater conditions, giving them extraordinary lung capacity. We decide to send them down alone. Despite our fears, they return laden with treasures and many intriguing details. They tell us the temple contains many paintings that show the history of a bygone culture. Though we couldn't explore the temple fully, the expedition has been a success. So, found some Omega, and we have... Uh... The word for child. Ooh, and a morale goes up. That's actually... This is a really interesting alternate version to probably one of the more interesting... Um but maybe not that well used uh, mechanics from No Man's Sky. I loved the translation mechanics, but it, you never really used it too much apart from solving a couple of puzzles here and there. And so it's one of those that like, I actually, I like games where you discover words as you go. Like I love that in, oh. Uh, interesting. Uh, sure. Oh, I see. I... that's... this isn't really... Yeah, because that's all just bleeding. I like the idea of tunnels. I don't know if I'm going to use them generally. Let's see. Ooh. And we've got a mystery spot. If I can get to it. It looks like... it looks like I can. Yeah, there's usually a way around the, the bleedy stuff. Inverse waterfall. Okay. Our expedition arrives at our intended destination, but we find that the location is first incomprehensible. The ground, glimmering with precious metals, flows upwards and disappears into the sky. Is it a gravitational phenomenon? Or some kind of technology that defies our current level of understanding? Is there a ri risk to approaching it? Sever the flux. Our engineer performs some scans. With the help of our ship's sensors, they figure out what's going on, far above in orbit. There's a collection station with a gravity inverting mechanism. They try to communicate with it, but it's ancient, abandoned by a foreign civilization. Our signals are misconstrued and the satellite ceases its activity. It heads into space in pursuit of its next mission objective. The minerals rain down and we have to protect ourselves as they fall. However, we're now free to take what we need. We got a galactic dial. Interesting. I don't think there's anything else I can grab here yet. That's done with. So there's also a chest somewhere on this map that I gotta go find. It's probably right there. I appreciate that it actually tells me uh, all of the things that we can potentially find. So is this. Ah, photosynthesis. Cost one plant. Adds 10 to the oxygen reserve. So is that how we do it? I wonder if I can do that from orbit. I think I'm going to have to reveal the closest chest. Oh, it's back over there. Oops. Yeah, I don't know what that noise is. It could be a sound effect. It could be just the ship. Okay, let's go around. I do, I do wish that I had the ability to 
auto move to places I've been before. Okay, I did not notice this here. Blast that apart, and we get the chest. Okay, we get four minerals. Which I think gets me a little bit more, because once again, the tweezers. Oh. Wait, number of uses remaining. Oh, I wonder if the tweezers just, like, break for good. Oh, well, that'd be unfortunate. They seem really helpful. Maybe there's a way to repair them. Or maybe we'll just get way more items as we go along. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, board the ship. So we are going to need some fuel. We get EXP. We got a T-set, a galactic, di galactic dial, some Omega, and morale goes up. Music is super atmospheric. I should listen to this when I'm uh, just jamming. Okay, so we have some resources that I... Mm, This is rough. Okay, I'm gonna go to the refinery first. Max it out. I'm hoping we can get one more carbon. And I'm just gonna do automatic transfer all. Okay, cool. So we get that. I'm gonna transfer this can be found on stars in space, civilized planets, or during expeditions. Always acquired in small quantities on mysterious locations. So yeah, you can use Omega to do things. Usually fix, but maybe other stuff. Now the question is, do I want 14 plants? Actually, our previous selection of plants went away. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Hafnium to grab this. Okay, there we go. And let's take off. Let's see, solar system view. Are any of these gas giants? No, you can... Oh, you can just see it here. Yeah, breathable atmosphere. If I wasn't low on fuel, I'd potentially... Be up for it. But as it stands, I don't know. Okay, white dwarves, red super giants, blue giants. I guess let's just go close. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason for what kind of planets you find around these stars. Ooh, storage array can be activated to manually save your progress. Okay, so there's three different types of saves. Automatically, activating storage arrays, that's what it is. Okay, so we have a gas giant, a couple of rocky planets, uh, or a garden planet, and a civilized planet. Ooh. Well, let's start with the gas giant. Because no matter what, we need as much fuel as we can get. And I think, like usual, I'm probably just going to go for broke. Because uh, worst comes to worst, I break the probe. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold up. Huh. He actually, like, gains skill. So she's actually becoming a better navigator. That's really cool. Okay, and we're just gonna toss all of this in. Do we think we can probe, like, five? Let's see what happens. We get two. Yeah, that wasn't... It was, like, mildly worth it. Okay, civilized planet. Many interesting opportunities, like villages during expeditions. Interesting, but I, I almost want to hit some of these other ones first. Okay, crew. I see. There we go. Switch them to drill. Drill, baby, drill. Okay. So we also have some hafnium once again.
and you can see if any of these are useful. Now we could get rid of a tech slot. I, I'm actually going to do it. We don't have much for tech, and I can always convert a tech slot into something else if I need to. We need as much storage capacity as we can get. Okay. So we have... We do have the garden planet. I'm just going to go buy it. I don't think I'm... I mostly just want to see if there's an anomaly here. Hopefully we get a scanner at some point so I can just see these. Because, yeah, it's got breathable atmosphere, but no dice. So, yeah, let's hit up the storage array so I can save. Ooh, that's a pretty looking thing. And then let's go to the civilized planet. I, hopefully I can rebuy, or I can like stock up on fuel here. Otherwise we're just going to have like the worst time. Maybe I can sell some things. Okay. Improves the morale of the crew. Sure. Pretty. Ah, oh, I like the fact that each of these is kind of on a different layer. It has a little bit of a Hanna-Barbera effect, but it looks really nice as it moves. A good reputation gives the crew access to rare items while trading, and stronger recruits available. So we can explore, build your reputation, so let's go and explore. We're on a hostile planet with few pockets of civilization. A group of threatening aliens decide we look like good pickings and we're forced to flee into a misty swamp. We hide in the fog while our pursuers jog by, but it turns out not to be simple fog. Our gear begins dissolving into the air, into thin air, as if sucked away by the mist. Before we begin disappearing ourselves, we flee back to the ship. Dressing has been destroyed. Oh, well, that sucks. So, recruitment. Not that this matters too much, but we have a... What kind of class is this guy? I don't know. So, status... Uh, those statuses have been applied to the crew. Oh, I see. So, he can give us extra movement and sight. So, Exaltation, so he heals based on how much HP the caster has lost. Heals somebody. Removes a negative effect, or heals, or it's just a pair of rings. Why not? But I don't actually care about any of these. So we're going to trade. There's a question of balance. It's true. Oh. We also have some things. Caster gains an action point. Common passive object. When a village is explored, we gain the e EXP. And get some oxygen. Just get some oxygen. Or extra vision. Maybe. This, though. Relaxation pod. Fuel tank low. Okay. And we might as well snag the helium. If we can. I don't think I want any of the rest of this, necessarily. Do I? Because I could grab this tank. It's like oddly cheap. I don't care too much about that. I don't care too much about these. What about the minerals? Oh, they're they're dirt cheap. If I take back one thorium, no. I think we're pretty good. I could snag more, but I, I think this is a good upper limit for me. Unless I really care about any of these, but I don't think I do. Perfect. Fuel tank low. You were just going to keep yelling at me. Ooh, haggle then trade. Sick. And that extra helium should, big emphasis on should, give us the fuel we need to continue on. Um... Do I refine? I think for now, no. We're a little limited on inventory space. Okay. And we're good here. So do we just continue on? Red Supergiant or Blue Giant? I would love a scanner that specifically makes it so I can see how many planets are on the system. Hopefully we get something like that at some point. Oh, shoot. You know what I do have? Oh... Blueprints. I just want to check. Relaxation pod. Ooh. 
Requires tungsten. Carbon and tungsten. Well, we don't have enough for either of those. So we've got a rocky planet, a rocky planet, and a rocky planet. Yeah. I've got three cargo slots. I say we stop at one of these. Ugh. That would have probably destroyed somebody. Okay. Well, we don't get anything fancy. Look, go back, crew. He's currently on drill. Perfect. And he's got his beautiful helmet on. Oh, yeah. I'm just pressing every button wrong. You know what? Let's just drill six. That tops us off. But yeah, I think I think we're gonna leave. Even though some of these might have exploration potential, we are preciously low on fuel. And that is going to remain a problem for at least a little while. Is that a garden planet? Nuts. If I check, crew, back to her. So plus three performance to my ship. So I think that's something I will have to keep in mind uh, when, when it comes to picking ships. Is that performance might not be a bad idea, but it looks like she just gets better and better as we go. So I think that'll probably be what ends up saving us. Uh, let's see. I'm actually, I think I'm going to go down to the black hole because we can also get the neutron star. They're both right next to each other. Wow. This was <laughs> not great, but at least this one's cheap. Please have gas giant. Garden planet. Garden planet. Uh-oh. Well, I don't exactly know what happens when you run out of juice. I think I think this happened to me when I did my first video as well. Where I was just like, uh-oh. Oh, hello. Well, you took to be a large asteroid. Turns out to be a huge creature. A space whale of sorts, nonchalantly orbiting the system's star. Carries in its wake the many rocks it's collected during it the course of his long journey. Spend many hours analyzing this unique specimen and decide to follow in its wake. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've found parasites and minerals. Ooh. And we have an abandoned ship. A rocky planet. Well, we're going to the abandoned ship because it might have fuel. It might just be a better ship. We definitely want to get something with higher performance. It's worse. Uh, what does it have? It has a mess hall and a communication station. Okay. Well, we're going to load all cargo, disassemble everything. Load all cargo again. Copper, thorium, and some other things. I guess... Hold up. I'm gonna go to the cargo hold. We have too many minerals. Okay, that gives us just enough space. Here's the only immediate problem. We have no fuel. Like, boatloads of... boatloads of iron. If I could burn that stuff, I'd be happy. But alas. Unless I get, like, beyond lucky. Time to find out what happens. I think this actually just does damage the ship. All or nothing? All or nothing! Okay. We have gas giant, gas giant, and a rocky planet. Yeah, so I think doing an all or nothing costs me more resources. There we go. But I could be wrong. 
drill back to hydrogen probe. And I mean, I have no choice, not enough fuel. Uh, wait. Oh, we have two sick bays. Oops. I don't know. Oh, Omega can be used as everything. Of course, we have fuel. Barely. Okay, does not matter. Do you see how much iron I've got? Nothing can stop that. Okay, I'm just gonna toss all of this in. Oh, sweet fuel. Okay. Do we go for a little bit more? Or for like three? Oh, that was super not worth it. Okay, so we did the, that gas giant. Let's do the other one. Honestly, what we want to find are civilized planets more than anything else. Okay, still don't have enough space. I think each helium is worth 10, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well. Do we go to the... Mineral planet? I think no. Let's see, blue giant, yellow dwarf. Let's go for the yellow dwarf. Once again, we're mostly looking for civilized planets. Where ships and stuff? Landing would be nice. Oh, hello. Near the edge of the solar system, we notice a dimensional rift forming. Could this be an activated door of night? We can take it, but it'll be a one-way journey. Whee! That didn't take us very far at all. Sweet. Okay. So we've got two gas giants. Yeah. I mean, once again, best thing that I could possibly do here is is just loot these for all they're worth, repeatedly. Okay, grab it. Okay, we do not have enough space. Get that there, fix. Toss this in, there we go. And honestly, just toss as much in. Having a supply of fuel that I can just hoard will be incredibly useful. Perfect. Of course, it doesn't really help me too much, but it does a little bit. Okay. And yeah, I, I think I'm going to just be much more um, stingy with how I explore. So I think at this point, this is a good stopping point. Uh, my voice is a little rough. I'm traveling, but it's fine. This is a ton of fun. I really like this game and I want to put some more time into it, though I think truly I will... Okay, oxygen levels is low, oxygen from a garden planet. It's nothing but gas giants, but I think that's I think that's fine once again. Anyway, so what, what was I going to say? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to put most of my time into this game when it's actually like in 1.0. But I have to say, every patch does seem to be really bringing this game further and elevating it in such a good way. I'm just going to... I'm just going to get rid of some of these things. While they'd be nice, i just hoarding fuel like a madman. Seems like my best possible option. Okay, so I guess once again, uh, one final thank you to Out There Oceans of Dime for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you guys and a ton of fun as always. And here, I'm just going to... I'm just going to be doing management while I try and do my outro, of course. Uh, let's see. Fuel. Oh, helium. And keep fixing that. Who cares? We are just redlining. Okay. And we want to do this one. Sadly, none of these have anything immediately useful on them. But at least this way I'll have just tons of resources. And then we're going to have to actually panic and go figure out how to get some oxygen. Luckily, oxygen doesn't burn that fast. Snag it all. Transfer it all. Refuel. Four. I think, uh, well, I'd say we could live, but we have plenty of iron. We had plenty of iron. Oh my 
Gosh, how much? We're out of iron, but I have infinite fuel. That uh, doesn't actually sound like much of a problem here. Cool. Anyway, uh, what else was I going to say? Words and things. I'm just going to skip the blue stars. I think they're the ones with the gas giants predominantly, but I also could be wrong. Garden planet. Hey, perfect. I don't know if we're going to find anything useful in it, but still. So, I guess one last uh, couple of things for the outro. Hey, we can even scan this one. See, here's the problem with these games. They suck me in and I don't want to end them because, you know, I just kind of keep playing while I do the outro and then I'm just like, but things are happening. And it's a problem. But we can scan, we can explore Alien Word and more Omega. Sure, why not? And does this refill our oxygen back up to full? Hell yeah. Let's see, I could also drill. If I go back to this guy. Okay, yep. I just gotta remember to swap him every time. And, oh. He leveled up his probing skill. That sounded weird. That sounded really weird. I mean, she did. She still has the dressing. It must have just lost a durability. Uh -huh. We'll have to figure out how to equip some of those other items I grabbed, but it doesn't really matter. So, I have a link in the description below if you guys do want to pick this game up. Uh, it's a lot of fun and very peaceful. It's one of those that you think it would be a little bit more stressful, but honestly, it's one of the more zen games that I've played all year. And, I don't know, I there aren't a whole lot of games that really get that kind of Star Trek vibe going. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. How much do I care about bleeding? <laughs> Ways to sound like a bit of a psychopath. I don't care if my, my crew is bleeding at all. They only took, like, one damage. Guess I'll just check these out. So... Our expedition comes across a settlement that's less a village and more of a termite mound, within a city that is vast yet composed of minuscule buildings sculpted from mud, live beings of just a few millimeters height. Their lives last only 20 seconds, during which time they work, reproduce, then die. To them were immobile giants in the sky above them. After a terrible multi-generational fright, they're now constructing taller and taller buildings in order to observe us. Dig into the city mound or observe them. Well, I can't establish contact. This is terrible. No ethics. We decide to open the city, causing an unprecedented cat catastrophe. Naturally, the tiny beings fight back, but they can do nothing against our suits. It's an unparalleled disaster in the history of their civilization. They're lively little things, however, and learn to avoid us. Before long, the city lies open. At the heart of it, we find a deposit rooted somewhere within every sentient civilization, a pool of Omega. Our decision to steal it is not taken lightly, but it's necessary for our quest is to have any hope of succeeding. I don't know, I feel like I'd lose uh, morale from doing that, to be honest. Anyway, so what was I going to say? Words and things and outros. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a link in the description if you guys want to pick this game up. And like I said, it is 20% 20, uh, 20 off for launch week. I'm actually going to bring us Alt-Tab. I don't remember how much this game cost base. I want to say it was like 20 bucks or something to that extent. Unfortunately, my internet is beyond slow. Yep. 25 bucks normally, down to 20 for launch. Neat. Anyway, I guess with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And uh, if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe. I've got tons of them to check out constantly. And they keep getting rad updates, too. I guess we're just going to bleed a bit. Two rounds. Eh, it's fine. We got the sick bay that'll heal us. Subnog Myocom? Uh. I'm just going to keep picking the third one. Silence becomes embarrassing. Well, the morale goes up. And we have people that I could recruit, but I don't care too much. What I'm here for is to sell some plants. I don't know what I'm going to buy. Oh, what do they have? Who's less likely to be affected by fever? I'll live without the iron. Let's just make that trade. 
Because these I can just carry with me. And they take up no inventory space. So the more of them I have... Oh, they're perfect bargaining chips. It makes sense. Okay, unfortunately, nothing useful. But still, okay, yeah. Uh, tons of indie games to check out. Look, I am easily distracted. There are, there are things everywhere. And I'm exploring an alien planet. So... I guess with all of that said, if you guys like the... Wait, no, I already said all of that. Like I, like I was saying, I get I get very distracted during these outros uh, when I'm actually playing the game because I don't want to stop. Games are fun. Uh, so, yeah, I guess see you all next time. Thanks for watching. I'm just, I'm just going to keep getting real distracted here until I find, like, every chest on this planet. It's a problem. <laughs>